The hugely anticipated boxing match between former unified heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua and former UFC heavyweight king Francis Ngannou is happening on March 8th, and we can't handle the excitement. This fight is shaping up to be an absolute war between two of the baddest men on the planet. Ngannou will be taking a big step up in competition in just his second professional boxing match ever when he takes on Joshua, who is looking to get his career back on track after losing his titles. Both men seem confident and motivated for this fight. So let's take a deep dive into the matchup itself and make a prediction on who will have their hand raised on March 8th in Saudi Arabia. First, a little background on how this fight came together. Niganu realized that with Deontay Wilder's recent loss to Joseph Parker in December, the path was open for him to challenge Joshua. Niganu made it clear on Twitter that he wanted the fight, and Joshua, never one to back down from a challenge, accepted. Niganu does have some boxing experience and underestimating him is a criminal mistake. He took on Tyson Fury in an exhibition bout last October and managed to drop Fury during the 10-round contest. Even though Fury won with a split decision, this fight could have gone either way. Nganu knocked Fury left, right, and center, and you could see the shocking look on Fury's face as he was not expecting that kind of offense from a fighter who doesn't have any significant boxing experience. Check out this clip. So Joshua knows he's taking on a legitimate threat. As Joshua put it, they spoke about this fight before and I said, no, it's a gimmick fight. It's not something that I think is right, crossing over when I'm still chasing heavyweight glory. And then when they saw what happened with his last fight against Fury, the situation with Wilder, this opportunity presented itself. I never turned down a challenge and I'm looking forward to it. So while Joshua once thought taking this fight was a gimmick, he now sees Nganu as his biggest test yet, saying, No, it's the biggest challenge of my life. Let's start by breaking down Anthony Joshua. The 33-year-old British star has a professional record of 27, 3 with 24 knockouts. Early in his career, Joshua used his 6-inch, six 6-frame six and thudding power to blow out opponents, scoring brutal knockouts. As the competition improved, Joshua displayed more boxing ability and IQ to outpoint fighters. He scored a signature win by stopping long-reigning champ Vladimir Klitschko to capture multiple heavyweight titles. Joshua would defend those belts successfully several times until he suffered a shocking upset loss to Andy Ruiz Jr. in 2019. Joshua was dropped multiple times and stopped, but regained his title six months later by boxing smartly over 12 rounds to beat Ruiz in the rematch. Most recently, however, Joshua again lost his titles by close decision to Oleksandr Usyk in 2021. He was outfought by the slick Ukrainian over 12 tactical rounds. Joshua is now working with new trainer Ben Davison to improve his strategy and defense. He still has dynamite in both hands with 24 KOs on his record and can end fights suddenly when he lands clean. But he has shown vulnerabilities to fighters with good movement and boxing skills. At 6'6", Joshua will tower over the 6 of 4 Nganu and have a reach advantage as well. He generally uses his height and reach well to control distance. Against aggressive opponents, Joshua likes to plant his feet and fire dangerous counters. He is experienced fighting into the championship rounds, having been 12 rounds six times against quality opposition. Joshua has also faced and defeated numerous hard punchers, showing a good beard in the process. While this is the biggest test of Joshua's career in his eyes, he can draw on a deep well of experience fighting far more credentialed boxers than Nganu. Now for the challenger, Francis Nganu. After a difficult upbringing, Nanu discovered MMA and used it as an escape from poverty and later as a platform to become UFC heavyweight champion. Along the way, he earned a reputation as the baddest man on the planet with his terrifying knockout power and superhuman strength. Nganu would blast opponents out with thudding punches or ragdoll them in the clinch. After losing his UFC title, Nganu embarked on a surprising transition to boxing. He took the dangerous step up, 
of facing lineal heavyweight champ Tyson Fury in an exhibition boxing match last October. Nganu came out firing heavy shots and managed to drop Fury in the early rounds. While Fury recovered and used his skill to take over later on, Nganu had already shocked the world by proving he belonged in there as a boxer with the best. At 37 years old, some feel Nganu is catching Joshua at the perfect time. He believes Joshua does not have the chin to withstand his power the way Fury did. Nganu is a physical specimen at 6, 4, 250 plus LBs of pure muscle. He has frightening one-punch knockout power in both hands. In MMA, he showed an iron chin as he was rarely hurt or dropped by even the biggest strikers. Against Joshua, Nganu will apply constant pressure while looking to land his money punch. If he connects clean, it could be lights out. While Nganu looked better than expected as a boxer against Fury, this is still just his second pro fight. Joshua has a massive experience edge when it comes to high-level boxing. Nganu will need to cut the distance without getting countered or tied up on the inside. Conditioning could also be a factor as he goes into deep water past five, six rounds. Still, all Nganu needs is one perfectly timed and placed punch to flip this fight upside down. This is one of the most compelling and difficult fights to predict in recent memory. Does Nganu's otherworldly power translate to boxing and prevail? Or is Joshua's boxing experience, technique, and heart enough to overcome the dangerous threat staring across from him? For me, Joshua's extensive boxing background makes the difference here. He has all the tools and intelligence to fight smart and minimize risks, while setting traps for Nganu defensively. I believe Joshua uses his footwork and distance control to stay off the ropes and keep Nganu turning. This takes power off Nganu's punches, as Joshua forces him to constantly reset his feet. Joshua will pot shot Nganu with hard jabs and straight right hands when he charges forward recklessly. The later rounds will test Nganu's gas tank, and Joshua pours it on, bloodying him up with combinations. Joshua has been in absolute wars, so I expect his chin and courage to hold up. Nganu may land a few troubling shots that Joshua withstands. By round 10 or so, Nganu is fatigued while a more seasoned Joshua closes the show. I'm predicting Joshua scores a late TKO victory over a brave but outmatched Nganu somewhere between rounds 10, 12. This win firmly reestablishes Joshua as an elite heavyweight threat once more as he seeks to regain his championships. His journey to the titles continues by passing the menacing challenge posed by Francis Nganu. There you have it, my complete preview and prediction for Anthony Joshua versus Francis Nganu. A true 50-50 toss-up fight between two of the most dangerous men in combat sports. Let me know who you're picking and why in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more in-depth boxing content. Have a wonderful rest of your day. This is your host signing off.